But hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here and I wanted to show you guys an overview of the Nike Town Portland or the Nike Store Portland. And uh, basically, you can see right in the middle there's a big Jordan um, like kind of statue-esque thing flying in the air. But on, on the upper tier on each side, they show the Jordans uh, 1 through 23. And unfortunately, I thought I had a video of, of the whole thing and for some stupid reason I only took a couple pictures of them. But they had them all on display. Uh, one side had like 1 through 11 or whatever it is, the, the other side had the, the remainder. But they were all of the Jordans in, on all white colorways you can see here. Um, and they just looked insane. Like obviously we've seen the 3s, the 4s, uh, the 5s, or not the 5s, the 3s, the 4s, the 9s, um, and the 11s in an all white colorway. But seeing the 8s in an all white and seeing the, uh, the 6s in all white was just nuts. Really cool display. I really wish I would have got... Um, the full image or the full video of all of the uh, the shoes if you guys want me to go back and get a full one um, I can try to do that. I just I can't believe I, I messed this one up um, Any which way this is just kind of part of the video I just wanted to show you guys kind of an overview of uh, the store and some of the things that I found interesting uh, Within the Nike store in Portland, but this was a big fail I wish I could have got a better look at all of these kicks for you guys uh, first and foremost they had the USA stuff uh, the Kobe USA uh, basketball shoes they have out now and uh, I did not know they actually have the LeBron lows uh, in USA colorway because uh, LeBron is rocking the Hyperdunk pluses. So I don't know. I'm not really sure what's what's going on. It looks like they're marketing some other ones as well. But and here here's the the Kobe's that they had on the wall. Um, you can kind of get a look at what they have in stock. But uh, more importantly, I just want to check out these ones. I didn't see these in in person yet, and uh, they look pretty dope. I, I like the little uh, emblem on the back. I think that's kind of a cool thing. Um, not a bad shoe at all. If you uh, are into the Kobe's, I'm sure you guys would want to pick those up. Um, but moving on over, I wanted to see the, uh, the LeBron Lowe's because this was interesting again to me. I didn't understand why they were they were marketing. I don't know if they're going to be marketing these as Olympic. You can see there's nothing on that says Olympic, unlike the Kobe's. Uh, obviously, just the colorway looks like it's inspired from the Olympics. But I'll be curious to see what LeBron will actually be wearing in the Olympics. My bet is on the Hyperdunk Pluses. Um, because he's like the big marketing factor behind all of that. Uh, this is another kind of a row of shoes that I saw. You can see the Griffey is over there. You can see the Sprites, which is crazy. They had those, some Hirachis, and there's the Griffeys again. Um, but most notably, I cannot believe they have uh, the Jim Green foams in, and they actually had them in my size. And I guess they, had, they have about 10 pairs of them left. So I'm curious if you could call Nike Store Portland and um, maybe check it out and see if you can get your pair if you didn't get a pair. I already have two myself but I was completely shocked that they had them in stock part of the reason why is I think that the Nike Twitter system is just a joke again uh, these things are also ones that I want I want these orange ones really bad I should have bought these but I uh, didn't it was kind of like the uh, the Safari um, Lunars and I'm, I'm a big huge fan of the Lunars uh, most comfortable shoes I think in my in my opinion um, but I, I like those ones I did a different video on these uh, if you guys want to check them out this is a superhero pack the Jordan 2000 12 lights and I really dig this pack. I give a little bit more of an in-depth review in the other video But I wanted to show you it was a part of the thing now. This is the last part that I thought was interesting This is part of the display that I I, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter It's at DJ H E or at has kicks H E S K I C K S. Sorry. I have two Twitters um, but I tweeted out saying I had a, a gig in Nike and I couldn't really talk about it well, I, I um, DJ the launch of these uh, event basically the display that they have in in LA store and New York store. I, I DJed the launch so I saw these uh, a week or two before they actually released and um, I couldn't take any pictures of them or anything like that. I didn't want to get anybody in trouble, but it was pretty cool and to see all the display then and then then come to the store and see people actually checking it out and trying to do the the tests and stuff like that. Um, it's a it's a neat thing and I don't know how you guys feel about these shoes, um, but it basically they track how high you jump and. And there's just like a lot of monitoring devices inside of them. So I thought it was kind of neat that they had, uh, and here's the other display that they have in the front of the store. So I, I thought it was kind of neat that I got a DJ and see some of this stuff, um, really, really, really high-tech displays uh, before they actually hit the stores and stuff. So I think I was going to end it on this. But let me know what you guys think uh, of the Nike store Portland. Actually, it looks pretty fresh. They did remodel it uh, fairly recently. I've just actually never been in the store because um, usually I just buy on, online if I can or, or get them from the employee store if I get the opportunity. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check back for more content. I'm sorry I'm spam spamming so many videos right now. I just have a few I had to get out. So thanks, guys.